Most people don't look forward to their birthdays because they actually see them as all the opportunities that they missed in the course of that year. Now, if you set a new frame of mind, which is I'm going to create an association to every day, like I died at 12, and then you actually realize that your birthday was the checkpoint by which you didn't die between 23 and 24, in my case, I still got five days left. Who knows? Do you understand how much power that gives you? That feeling of uncertainty, will I make it to 24? Do I get to make it to 24? Who do I become at 24? That little mindset shift started to make me love my birthdays. I also started to realize, what would you give to the man that survived what you survived in that year? What would you give to the woman? How would you reward that individual? I mean it. Give yourself the gifts. You know what you want. Do it. And if not, work hard for those things by the end of the year, then you got yourself something you look forward to. And in doing so, you start to actually celebrate your own birthdays. And in doing so, you reward your own life, opposed to constantly punish it because you're your own worst critic. You're your own worst critic about what you achieved. And in doing so, you've created a sorrowful, resentful, bitter birthday boy or birthday girl, when in reality, it's the best time of your life because it's another opportunity to live life. And this could be the year at which you develop a relationship with it where you constantly set intention for each year. The birthdays are the best part you can have. I know a lot of people would rather just constantly exist in dissonance. I just, I just woke up today, it's another day. It's not just another day, it's your life. And it's a very important day. It was the day that you were actually brought here. Now, a lot of the time people don't wanna run diagnostics on their shitty cars. If you gotta service your oil, service your oil. But you're gonna have those checkups so that you can really see the problems and the blessings. A lot of people don't want to see those problems. A lot of people want to disassociate from it. But there's something so liberating about the truth. It's the greatest gift that you could be given on your birthday. Do you understand that you could drink, and you could celebrate, that you could laugh, knowing that you got the answers for 24, knowing that you got the answers for 51, knowing that you're going to set an intention because every day of your life is important. Show yourself that, and you'll start to lose a little bit of that pain behind each year, and you'll feel the joy of getting older. You'll feel the grace behind it. And you'll get the power of what it is to be somebody that actually knows how to live life. You'll start to really make peace with that. And I did this and I said, if I died at 24, who would I call? This was actually when I was 22. I said, if I died at 22, who would I call? And I found myself calling my friends with tears in my eyes, with gratitude. They're like, what's wrong? And I said, I was able to make it this far with these people in my life. You know, some of those people aren't in my life anymore, but I was able to tell them what I felt at the time. And all they had was love and appreciation for it. And they go, well, wh what's up with the mood? And I go, well, two hours. That's it. I'm no longer 22. And what ends up happening is you start to pull the walls closer to your life. You start to make each and every year more personal. You start to have a connection towards the beauty of life that you are constantly evolving and letting go and growing. It's a painful experience, the human experience, but it's also the highest capacity for pleasure simultaneously. Birthdays are a blessing when you learn to change your mind around what they really represent. It's a day that you were given an opportunity to live.